What's up guys, this is your boy Griffin GFX. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to grunge in Photoshop. Never done a tutorial like this, it's definitely time to make this happen on my channel. Here's some examples of the kind of grunge that I love and that I want to teach you in today's video. There's a lot of grain, there's a lot of blurring, some of them have colour, some of them are colourless. And you can do this grunge effect on images or on text. Up on screen now I've got a little mood board of the kind of grunge aesthetic I'd like to teach you guys. As you can see it's all very messy and textured and there's a lot of grain. All the textures that I'm using in this video to teach this effect are going to be down in the description. You can go and get all of that for free. I love this aesthetic so much you can take the simplest images and bits of typography and give it so much energy and texture and give it a really underground look in just a few steps. Today's tutorial is really going to be split into two parts where I'm going to be teaching you the fast way the quick way the shortcut and then the long way to do this effect where i actually show you in depth how to do everything so that you control the outcome this aesthetic is getting more and more popular on social media so i figured it's time to make a tutorial and show you guys exactly how to do it the first step will be to put one of the grunge textures as a background type some text over the top of it we're going to rasterize it so that we have full control over what we do with the text I'm going to liquefy just to change the shape of this O and to give it a slightly wavy look. And then I'm going to be using the smudge tool with the settings you can see here. And what you want to do is you want to shake the cursor really quickly so that you're not dragging the text too far but instead giving it a slightly more controlled blur. You then want to duplicate the background grunge texture and overlay it on top of the text as a clipping mask and then go through the blend modes until you find ones that you like. For example, Vivid Light will give you this really strong glitchy psychedelic effect which is cool but a little bit intense. If you use the difference blend mode, you're going to get a more traditional grunge look where the texture just slightly overlaps onto the text. I want to use the marquee tool to select two parts of the text. I'm going to hit Ctrl and J to duplicate and then I'm going to use the Gaussian blur at around 30 strength just to make the blur a little bit more intense. I usually overlay a few different textures, white and black, onto the image. The black one will sometimes just overlay on the text, so I like to make sure I'm using white and black. If you also set this one to overlay it's going to look like this which looks nice in black and white. If you keep duplicating the textures you're going to get a more intense threshold and something that looks a little bit more blocky like this. Once you've got the blur exactly how you like it in filter gallery you can add a grain and you can copy my settings or just tweak it until you like how it looks. Alright guys, step 2 is going to be teaching you the easy way, so we're starting off exactly the same with some white text on a black grunge background. For this one you can rasterize the text or turn it into a smart object so that you can remove the effects later. And then you want to go to filter, distort and displace. Depending on how high these numbers are will depend on how intense the grunge is, so feel free to mess around with that until you're happy with the outcome. I've gone for 20 by 30 and then you want to select one of your grunge textures and it will use that as a map to mess up the text so if you used a water texture for example it's going to put wavy effects into the text instead of grunge effects i'll show you how to do it one more time but this time i'm going to blur the g like i did in the first part of the tutorial this is definitely the quickest most effective way to make grunge and because it's a smart layer you can take all the effects back off the text if you wish to Here's a little time lapse of me using the two techniques I've showed you in this video so far to make a nice typographic piece. I went super hard with the blur on this one which made it a little bit difficult to read parts of it but you'll notice that's a trend with grunge artwork. It's often very distorted, grainy and blurred. 
I'll leave a PSD down in the description as well so you can see what I've done layer by layer if you struggle to follow this tutorial maybe that will help as always guys all the assets in my videos are totally free to download and use for yourself drop a like and subscribe if you're new that's your way of helping me out this piece you're seeing on screen right now is one of my favorite ones I made whilst making this tutorial I feel like the text really pops and when I put this distorted image on top it just started looking real sick took me quite a while to make it so I thought I'd just have it playing as a time lapse at the end of the tutorial to hopefully inspire you guys if you enjoyed the tutorial drop a like and if you followed along and made your own grunge artwork please come and share it in the discord we'd love to see what you created I appreciate every single one of you guys for watching this thank you for all the love on my channel look after yourselves enjoy the rest of this little time lapse and I'll catch you in the next video that's Griffin oh peace